Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and we're looking at the find command today for our Unix class here at Florida State University. Find is a utility, and what it does is it searches uh, the directory tree for specific files based upon some criteria. And we're going to do some demonstrations of the uh, command. It's not a complete demonstration, but you're going to get the idea that the, there's a lot to this particular utility, and it's uh, quite useful. Well, first of all, the the uh, if you want to do a help on it, all you have to do is type man find, and brings up uh, the uh, man pages for it. Uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, the examples in the man page here to uh, show you how the command works. First of all, it's a, a very simple find. It starts off with the word find, and then typically you uh, it's looking for a directory next. And if you don't specify the directory, it's going to assume it's the one that you're in right there. Then you're going to say, I want to search by name. That's the dash name. And then you give it the name itself. So I'm going to search for a file called finder.s. And it actually found two of them. It found one in the current directory that I'm in right now, and it found one in a subdirectory. It's an empty file, and those are the two that actually show up. The same command, which is usually written like this, if we want to search in our current directory, I almost always put a period there to indicate search in the current directory and below uh, for the file, uh, just as a just as a safeguard. Okay. So those are the first two examples. Okay. Now, uh, warning. Okay. Uh, you'll see this example quite a bit. And you'll see this slash right there. That slash means go to the root of the device. It's the very top level uh, of the hierarchy in the directory tree. Do not do this because you're going to be searching the entire disk drive. And it takes up a lot of time and you probably have the sysadmin coming fuss at you. All right, so don't do that. Okay, always usually specify the directory. We always start our commands out with uh, find dot. Now, as I said before, it starts at the current directory and works down. If you want to limit that, in other words, you don't want to go past a certain number of directories, you can tell it, uh, go to a max depth and we'll say 1 to find uh, something on the name finder.sh. Now, uh, notice the order. I put the max depth in 1 and then the dash name. The name that you're going to search for has to follow this this uh, parameter right here, dash name. You can't uh, switch max depth and name, switch those around. So you have to have the name following this. And what it's going to do is it's only going to search the current directory and there it only finds that. Well, let's say that I wanted to find all of the files that end in sh. Well, I have to enclose it in quotes like this. And I have to do that because it's uh, parsing a string with a special character in it. So I do that, and there are all the files that end in uh, dash h. Now, uh, max depth, along with max depth, I can do min depth. So I'm going to say I'm going to do a maximum depth of four directories and a minimum depth of, let's say, one. Okay, And there it goes and finds all of the files based upon that criteria. Uh, I can actually find some that are not the name. For instance, uh, <clears throat> Let's say that uh, I want to find the ones that are not okay, uh, of the name finder.sh. In other words, I want to find all the ones that aren't, and there are all the ones that are not. Or let's say that I want to find all the ones that uh, are not um, ending in that, and it will find the ones that don't end in .sh. Okay. Uh, you can find empty files. Okay. So find dot, and we'll just put uh, dot empty right there. And you'll see that I put other options, like I put dot empty by itself. Remember that you can put max depth or min depth, or uh, I can put uh, find uh, not empty, and it give me the non-empty files too. Okay, well going on, um, I want to find the smallest or largest file, and this is kind of an interesting uh, command. And I'm going to be very careful about typing in because it's very easy to mistype it. You say find the current directory. Okay. Type is F is a regular file. There's several different types of files. F and D are the ones we use most often. F is for a regular file. D is for directory. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a special feature of find and I'm going to execute a command and that's execute 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the results of the find to the ls command, that's the structure. I'm going to sort it based upon size and uh, the exec command expecting a um, argument list and uh, if it's empty you just put the two uh, curly brackets right there and then the directory structure that it's in which is the current one right there. We're going to pipeline the results of that command, the ls command, to a sort command. Okay, we're going to sort it numerically in reverse order and then we're going to pass that to head and we're only going to print the last, uh, the top line. Okay, There it is and that is the largest file that we have. Now you can do the smallest. Okay, um, <coughs> Excuse me, the smallest all you have to do is change head to tail and if you recall what tail does, a head prints off the beginning of the list, tail prints off the last. Okay, And you say this and there is the smallest file which is an empty file. Okay. As I mentioned before, we can find uh, directories. We can say, um, uh, let me clear this out, find dot type d, okay, and there are directories right there. You can find hidden files, uh, regular file, okay, which uh, uh, dot asterisk. And if you recall the asterisk, uh, the asterisk is a wild card, zero or more characters. So it's going to find the the um, the dot the double dot and all the other hidden files that are in there that begin with a period. Oops, path name right there. I have to include the name. Oops, get over there. Type f dash name. There we go. And there are the uh, the hidden files. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, okay. okay, here's one. It's a uh, size. This is an interesting one. Okay, uh, find. Okay, dot size, and in, in the find in the current directory dot size. Okay, uh, one that is exactly. Um, let's say ten. Let's say seventy characters. I know I got one in there. That here's one. It's exactly seventy characters. Now you'll see I use the C right there. If I left off the C, it would default to megabytes. But you can use C for characters, um, let me put in C for characters, uh, K for kilos, thousands of bytes, M for megabytes, and B for gigabytes. Okay. Likewise, I can say uh, one that is uh, greater than <coughs> 70 characters, oops, megabytes, characters, okay. And I can say which one is smaller than 70 characters good. Along with that I can say which ones are <coughs> newer than certain files. Finder. Okay, they're none newer, but I can also say not newer and they are the ones that are older than that one. A lot of these commands have uh, characters you can pin in front of them. For instance, newer you can put A for access and C for modified. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's put the uh, cursor right there and say that our access newer, access newer than find. Uh, there's none there. Let's see what we got. We got uh, myfile.txt. Okay, we'll go myfile.txt. There we go, that one's newer. And we can also do um, modified or change newer than my file.txt. Okay. We can search for some with specific permissions. So let's uh, I'll go out and look at our permissions. We have some that are there's a there's a seven three there's a seven five seven five five looks like that. Okay, clear. Alright, so we'll find fine in our current directory ones that have a permission of uh, 755 and there are ones that have 7 being uh, everyone, uh, the user can do everything and the owner, the group and the world can uh, read and execute. Okay. 
Uh, we can find files that have been modified based upon a certain time. Um, um, we have minutes, hours, and days. We can do that. We can say uh, find dot so those have been uh, within the last 30 minutes. Okay. Oops. I'm supposed to put the dash there. Okay. And you got to put a space right there. There we go. None. Okay. Uh, let's let's create one. Let's go in Pico Finder dot sh. Okay, we'll save. Okay, <clears throat> and let's see. On five in the last thirty minutes. Oh, oh minus thirty minutes. I'm sorry. There we go, finder.sh, and we can do uh, m time. Now the time is day, so it's every 24 hours. So one would be one would be every uh, 24 hours. So those are the ones that have been modified in the last 24 hours. And you can do uh, m time. You can do uh, <coughs> Those have been accessed within minutes, within the last uh, 30 minutes. Okay. C oh, C minutes. Yeah, C minutes. Do C minutes for uh, modified. Um, <coughs> now, the last one is uh, uh, really kind of interesting. You can find the permissions of the files that contain um, a certain criteria. And this one's uh, also a very interesting command here too. So we're going to do clear. We're going to say find max depth of 2. 2. Put it right there. On the name. Okay. Asterisk dot sh. And we're going to say, uh, pass it to the exec command, ls dash l, our parameters and the directory that we're putting it into. Oops, let me correct the syntax here, max depth on name dash l. Let's put a dash in front of the exec. go and that gives us all the uh, permissions of the files there's another way to do that the other way to do that is to not do the exec command but we can pipe this to an xarg s uh, command that is another video and do an ls on that one it does the same thing okay well the find command a uh, very very interesting command uh, give it a try I think it's worthwhile you learning at least a few pieces of it. I hope you enjoy it.